What's going on, everybody? I'm that driving guy, and my office gets me where I'm going. If this is your first time and you get some value from these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the bell, and hit all. That way you're notified every time I drop a video. So on this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about, I uh, saw, and this happened, this was a little while ago I saw this, but I'm just now doing a video, um, how uh, Tony Shu, the CEO of DoorDash, the owner who of the boss, um, was doing an interview about DoorDash delivering weed. So I want to talk a little bit about that situation. Now, it may be a long way off uh, for DoorDash to get to that point where they are going to have us deliver weed. Um, you know, it's a lot of red tape and it's a lot of red tape for us to even deliver alcohol. A lot of things that they, they go through or whatever, but you know, you, you best believe that when the time comes, um, uh, if and when, uh, weed is, is legalized on a federal level, DoorDash is definitely going to, uh, jump on the bandwagon with that and have us delivering weed because as you know DoorDash tries to deliver everything they try to get involved with everything so it's safe to say that weed would be one of those things that they would um, get involved with when it gets legalized on a federal level so now um, my, my thoughts on this is I really don't think that it would be profitable for us in a lot of markets, um, especially the ones where weed has already been legal for some time and you have dispensaries who have their own delivery services. So if you are in that market, me, I'm in California. So it's been legal for quite some time. Dispensaries have their own delivery service and, and make these deliveries. So I don't see DoorDash or us as dashers really being able to make a lot of money off of these types of orders. We may not even receive a lot of them because you have dispensaries with their own delivery service. Now for newer dispensaries or newer services that get, that are getting started, they may use third party services such as DoorDash and other gig um, apps to deliver their product. Um, some, some similar to the cash on delivery. I opted in for cash on delivery orders and I have not received one yet and it's been months. So we may not even see or some of us may not even see a lot of these types of orders um, in our markets. It, it all depends on where you are. Um, now, a lot of questions that come up or a lot of comments that I see deal with safety of delivering these types of orders. Similar to uh, when they had the cash, when it was the cash on delivery, which they still have in a lot of markets, mine included in California. Um, a lot of people are worried about the safety issues, the safety, safety. And I feel you, I understand that. But we have to take into account, like I said, in my market, they deliver, deliver weed all day. You know what I'm saying? Like. They have dispensary drivers who ride around with product and cash. And I've spoken to quite a few of them and none of them ever have mentioned anything to me, um, any type of problem that they've had as far as people trying to rob them and things of that nature. It does, just doesn't happen like people may think it happens. Um, we, we, for some reason, it seems like a lot of people feel as if the majority of people that order from these services are criminals or up to no good are going to try to get over. Now, I do understand that there are some people who will try to take advantage, who will try to rob you. It does happen, but it's not something that is so common where it's going to affect you getting money, you going out there and accepting these types of orders. Again, it's your choice. You have the, the option to opt into it or, or opt out. You do not have to accept these orders. It's not mandatory. So if you did choose to, to accept this type of order, you just need to be aware of what you're doing. You're not gonna be careless waving money around and holding up money to your ear if you're not gonna make stacks like that. But I'm just saying, 
you're not going to broadcast that you're delivering weed. You know what I'm saying? So it's all in the way that you do, uh, that you work, that you handle your business. Um, safety shouldn't, should be an issue or it should be a concern, but it shouldn't be a hindrance. It shouldn't be something that's going to deter you from getting money. If you're making money without taking these orders, fine. Continue to do what you do. But these these are just other opportunities that we have in order to make more money. So, um, you know, you, you don't want to carry around large amounts of money for cash on delivery or uh, weed orders. If it gets to that point, if and when it gets to that point that we are able to deliver weed. Um, you know, most people are going to do the right thing. Most people are going to make an order, have their money ready. They, they understand that this is a business and they're going to do the right thing. There's a lot, I've, I've seen so many comments of people, oh, what if they don't do this? What if they don't have the money? Oh no, that's making it easier for them to rob. It's, come on, it's not like that. Everybody is not going to be trying to get over and be a criminal. We need to get this out of our heads. Like safety, honestly, for me, I'm just saying me personally, I'm aware of the things I didn't even worry about getting robbed when I was selling weed illegally in the hood. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not going to worry about it when I'm doing it legally for a, a delivery service, because I understand that I'm not dealing with that same type of element. Uh, same type of element that I was dealing with at that time when I wasn't worried about it in in areas that were sketchy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to worry about it now. But I'm just talking for me personally. You handle it the way that you want to handle it. It's just, you have to be realistic. You know what I mean? And you have to understand that it's just not something that's going to be a common thing. As I mentioned, like I said, out here in California and there are other states where weed is legal that have that are fully um, established and they have um, delivery services and, and, and they deliver all the time and don't have no problems. So if you did decide to opt into these types of orders, if and when they do become legal on a federal level, you know, we have a, a lot of um, safety. Well, we have a safety feature on the app, which I notice are on other apps as well um, that we can use and utilize in order to keep us protected. Um, but, you know, this can be a long way off. You know, this can be something that can be something that can happen next year, months from now, years from now. Um, it may never happen if they don't legalize it on a federal level um but it may never happen but it is something that they are talking about um it is something that um can be a real thing for us as dashers um sooner than later or or later or even later so um keep that in mind that you know these are types of orders that we would have if you opted in for cash on delivery orders and you have received any, drop it in the comments. Let me know how that's gone if you accepted those types of orders. Uh, let me know if you've had any type of problems or issues with these types of orders. Um, like I said, I opted into it a couple of months ago and I still have not received any. Um, but when I do, I definitely, definitely will let you know um, how my experience went. So, as always, I definitely appreciate you all. If there's anything else you want, want to hear me talk about, go ahead and drop that out on, in the comments. And until next time, I'm a holler.